Good evening, this is Tina. And uh, in this video, we're gonna show you how, what's the better way to connect to MongoDB in our Express application. Sorry. And uh, this is gonna be my last video of today. And we will just implement the functionality, which is save to product. And tomorrow we're gonna implement for like edit, delete, uh, what's thing, uh, uh, view detail, those, okay? And uh, if you are interested, you can do it by yourself uh, first and before go through my videos. So let's start. Uh, let me push, push you first. Okay. So here, this is our previous version, right? Uh, we don't need to have a Mongo driver. Okay. Mongo driver is not needed for this one. Uh, should I delete this one? Okay. Uh, I just leave it because someone wants to download the source code. Okay. This one is not needed. Let me make, 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 make a comment. Uh, make a comment. Not need, not needed for this online shopping project. Demo purpose. And here, so what's the better solution? The better solution, yes, this way. Uh, here, we will expose to, okay, which is, uh, uh, like this, we define a variable DB here. Uh, this is a convention in, oh, I think uh, in Java, I know. And uh, in JavaScript, underscore here means what? It means a private variable, which means only used for this module, not supposed to uh, open, okay? not, not supposed to uh, use outside this module. And here for this callback, we are not give the client, which is this one back, okay? Which is the hold the connection. Instead, we will do is that db equals client dot, what's the thing? Client dot uh, 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 db, okay? We, here we set our database to online shopping, okay? You can also set it here using slash to set it here. Uh, database and then here I will export two things. First is exports dot mongo connect and equals this connect method. Okay, you will see where to use it. Okay, exports. Okay, and next one is I will have a non method which is a const, uh, const. Okay, get db, get db equals. It's a function to grab this db because here I get a db, right? If db is this one, sorry, if db is not a none, which is it's already be assigned the value to this one, then I'm gonna do is return, return this db, db, okay, db, 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 okay, and otherwise I will throw error because which means the database is not started correctly right through new error error uh, db connect fail and then i will also export this method which is exports dot uh, what's thing get db okay equals get db and what should, what I will do next is uh, this Mongo connect, connect is when our application starts. Okay, we we will uh, make a connection ready. Okay, and uh, in our products, I just using the connection. Oh, uh, not a connection. Using the DB. Okay, already the point to our database. So what I'm gonna do now is I will go to the apologies. Okay, so here I'll do something, which is first I will require, require this database RGS. const mongo, mongo connect. We are require this 
you tear and the slash database okay and I'm not to, because if I using uh, require the, this module it you are gonna get uh, two things right but in Apple JS I just want to make sure the connector is ready I only export this one so that export this one oh no import this one okay I only import this one and then this is what this is a function see here this is a function and I have to provide a callback and the, the callback doesn't have any uh, parameter so here I call this mongo client and inside of here I have to provide a function okay which is a callback the callback doesn't have any argument okay and once the database connects successfully I will be listen for this uh, uh, my application we are ready to listen okay and then after listen successfully then we are ready to serve okay that's what we did here so once we call one uh, when the application starts then if everything successful here this db should not be now right so if in my products i call this get a db then i can get this uh, db right okay so how you do that is in the product i will change this one I will using get a db and here I will require dot get db not require for mongo connect so this piece of code information I can change to you know what because this database this database uh, the, this get a db will give me db which is uh, this piece so what we can do is just like this what's the okay uh, const db equals get a db okay okay and then we can do yes uh so i'm already here so we can using db dot collection and here we give products okay dot sorry dot insert one like we did before and here i will insert this documentation current documentation then you can using then and you can also use in catch. So this one. And then I will do this piece. Okay, uh, let me let me do result. And uh, now we don't close the connection. We just cancel the log result dot result. Okay. And the catch I will just do error dot error. You can throw the error. Okay. So by doing that, we convert this piece of code information into this one. So by doing that, not every time we make an operation, it will make a database connection. Okay, it's gonna reuse this one. And internally, actually here, uh, MongoDB will maintain a thread pool, a thread pool for us. Okay, so you, it's not every time I make a save or fetch it will make a new connection to the database anymore so now let's test if in this way if it works or not okay uh, let's go to oh sorry 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 sorry, sorry. go here and we go to our other product okay and here here we have this one okay we have this one and now in our database find refresh find only has a one in our database right let's do more okay react price 30 image UI this one this one is great and I click save submit and I go back here refresh you will see two is being saved okay so this is a bit much 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 better way than the previous version which is the way you should use in your application okay and uh, we have a uh, mongo client uh, mongo connect we don't stop we don't close the connection okay we only open it we leave it open and in our upper js when the application starts we make sure the MongoDB. Uh, we make sure MongoDB is connected success successfully. Then we start our application. If it's not successfully, then how can we retrieve all the information, right? So only MongoDB connected successfully. Then we will start the application. Okay, which is here. Only connected successfully. We will call the callback. Okay, start the application, and then here it's used to expose our database. Okay, DB. 
Okay, then we can use in our products. Instead of writing this piece of code, we write this piece of code. Okay, uh, that's it for today's video. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you tomorrow. The source code is inside the description, GitHub repository. Bye-bye. See you.